Now, if you're a fan of horror, you'll be familiar with names like Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, Leatherface, even Pinhead. However, you may not be familiar with the actors under the makeup or beneath the mask. These actors have played some of the most iconic horror movie characters in history. Yeah, you might not even recognize them if they passed you on the street. So, today on Top 10 Beyond the Screen, I'm going to be counting down our list of the top 10 horror movie actors. You won't believe what they look like in real life. Before we begin, though, be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be responding to some of your comments. With that, let's jump in. Coming in at number 10, Pale Man from Pan's Labyrinth. Written and directed by the legendary Guillermo del Toro, Pan's Labyrinth takes place in the founder of Spain in 1944, when a bookish young stepdaughter of a sadistic army officer escapes into an eerie but captivating fantasy world. What a fantasy world it is, housing some of the most remarkable and terrifying creatures and monsters to ever grace our screens. However, none is as terrifying as the Pale Man. He is the secondary antagonist of the 2006 Spanish fantasy. And despite only appearing in just one scene, he lingered in the minds of viewers long after the movie finished. Now, The Pale Man was actually played by Doug Jones, an actor who frequently works with Guillermo and appears in films under heavy makeup. Though you would never recognize him, he has also appeared in Hocus Pocus, Hellboy, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, and The Shape of Water. Coming in the 9, Leprechaun from Leprechaun. Leprechaun, although incredibly comical in hindsight, did star one of the most unnerving horror movies villains in history, Leprechaun, played by Warwick Davis. Now, the film itself follows this evil, sadistic Leprechaun who goes on a killing rampage in search of his beloved pot of gold. Now, Warwick Davis was perfect for this role, with the actor standing at just 3 feet 5 inches, making him one of the most successful dwarf actors in all of Hollywood. In no way does he resemble his Irish movie villain, and props to the makeup department on the film who did a truly incredible job, because that movie monster is just straight up terrifying. Now, outside of Leprechaun, Davis has received many notable roles, starring in movies such as Harry Potter, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Star Wars The Last Jedi, as well as Solo, A Star Wars Story. However, for horror movie lovers out there, he will forever and always be Leprechaun. In at 8, Bride in Black from Insidious Chapter 2. Insidious Chapter 2 introduced us to a slew of new and terrifying monsters, but none were more terrifying than the Bride in Black, the entity that haunts Josh Lambert, played by Patrick Wilson, often appearing in reflections and mirrors. This entity is truly nightmare inducing, carrying a candle and donned in black, with a veil over her head. However, did you know The Bride in Black was actually played by Tom Fitzpatrick? Yeah, I had no idea either. You would never know, simply because he's a man. But The Bride in Black was so impressively done that Tom is completely hidden deep beneath the outfit and makeup. Outside of Insidious, Tom has also appeared in Real Husbands of Hollywood, Avenue 43, American Horror Story, and SWAT. Coming in at 7, Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the 1974 version, aka the best version. Like a few of the numbers on our list, Leatherface is one of the most iconic monsters in horror movie history, existing within the Texas Chainsaw franchise. The original film followed two siblings and three of their friends en route to visit their grandfather's grave in Texas, but ultimately end up falling victim to a family of cannibalistic psychopaths. The primary antagonist in the movie is Leatherface, a deformed inbred man who mutilates his victims in his basement. Now, the man behind Leatherface is Gunnar Hansen, who played Leatherface in just two of the movies, but in the eyes of viewers has always been the one and only Leatherface. Of course, hiding behind a mask, no one ever quite knew what the actor looked like, but thankfully it is nothing like the terrifying horror villain, that's for sure. Sadly though, on November 7th, 2015, Gunnar Hansen passed away. He did, however, leave behind an everlasting legacy. In at 6, Michael Myers from Halloween. Perhaps one of my favourite horror movies of all time, Halloween created one of the most terrifying and long lasting horror movie villains in all of cinematic history, Michael Myers. He is the primary antagonist of the Halloween franchise and, as a six year old child, was admitted into a psychiatric hospital for murdering his older sister, Judith Myers. And like any classic horror movie, Michael breaks out of the asylum 15 years later and, for 23 years, hunts down the rest of his family to kill them. The man behind the legendary mask was Nick Castle, an actor who has starred in just four works in his career. Halloween, Escape from New York, The Boy Who Could Fly, and the 2018 Halloween. However, it has been announced that he will return for Halloween Kills in 2020 and Halloween Ends in 2021. Of course,
course Nick Castle looks nothing like Michael considering Michael wears a mask, specifically a William Shatner mask which was originally used in the 1975 horror film The Devil's Reign. The more you know. Coming in at number 5, Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street. There is no horror movie villain quite as iconic as Freddy Krueger from the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. He is the monstrous spirit of a slain child murderer who seeks revenge by invading the dreams of teenagers whose parents were responsible for his untimely death. Played by Robert Englund, this became the most significant role in the actor's career, with him going on to star in 8 movies in the franchise. Now what made this role significant is, unlike other horror movies, he became the only actor in history, along with Doug Bradley, to play the main character in 8 horror movies in a row. And of course Robert looks a whole lot different than his evil counterpart, considering Freddy is horribly burned with rotten teeth, wearing a sweater that alone can send shivers down your spine. Though Robert doesn't look anything like Freddy, he has become so iconic and successful for playing the character that if you passed him on the street you would definitely know who he was. Outside of the world of horror, he has gone on to star in a slew of other works such as Urban Legend, Hatchet, Red and The Mole Man of Belmont Avenue. However, he will always be Freddy in the hearts of horror lovers. Coming in at number 4, Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. The first one. Now, Jason Voorhees has been played by many actors, but the first of the first was Ari Lehman, who appeared as Jason all the way back in 1980, in the very first Friday the 13th, and the actor's second on screen appearance. For those who have never seen the film, it follows a group of camp counselors who are stalked and murdered by an unknown assailant while trying to reopen a summer camp, which years before was the site of a child's drowning. And that child was, of course, Jason Voorhees, who seemingly survived his apparent demise and inhabited a crew shelter in the forest, waiting for his mother to find him for over 20 years. Now it isn't really until the end of the first Friday the 13th that we get our very first look at Jason Voorhees, because spoiler, Mrs. Voorhees was the original killer in the first film. Anyway, it is at the end of the movie that we see a decomposing Jason emerge from the lake and attack one of the survivors. When she awakes in the hospital, she asks the officers about the boy. Apparently there was no sign of any boy. Then the movie ends with one creepy line, then he's still there. And that he was. Jason's first appearance was that of a deformed boy, but has drastically changed over the years. However, nothing will ever be as terrifying as his initial appearance. When Ari came to the audition for Friday the 13th, he was immediately approved with the words, I quote, You have the necessary measurements. We'll take you. Ari was only 15 and was 5'9 at the time. Now, of course, he is completely unrecognizable in real life, considering his character is terribly deformed and for the most part wears a mask. But regardless, he is a legend in the world of horror. In at number 3, Samara from The Ring. The Ring was released back in 2002 and followed a journalist played by Naomi Watts who must investigate a mysterious videotape which seems to cause the death of anyone one week to the day after they view it. So spooky. Now, included in that creepy tape and the source of all the death is Samara, a demonic child who crawls out of a well and into your homes through the TV and literally kills you by scaring you to death. Yeah, she's spooky and terrifying to look at. Well, the real face behind the movie monster is Devay Chase, who looks a whole lot different from a horror movie counterpart, and you certainly would never guess she played one of the most disturbing and terrifying horror movie monsters in cinema. Outside of the Ring franchise, Devay has also appeared in Lilo and Stitch as Lilo, Donnie Darko, Spirited Away and Big Love. Although it's not often you find horror movie actors popping up in a whole load of films, DeVay has also kept a steady and solid career and does not seem to be slowing down. In at 2, Pennywise from IT, the 2017 film. In 2017, we were all taken by surprise when the remake to a popular TV movie was released. It, based on the Stephen King book of the same name, the film takes place in the summer of 1989. A group of bullied kids band together to destroy a shape-shifting monster, which disguises itself as a clown, and preys on the children of Derry, Maine. Now, this shape-shifting entity is known as Pennywise, and in the 2017 movie, he is portrayed by Bill Skarsgård, who, outside of all of the clown makeup, is actually a babe. Yeah. Well, I mean, he is a scars guard, and they of course have incredible genes. And not to mention, he was a model at the time, not the type of actor you would expect to play Pennywise. However, scars guard proved that he had the acting chops to pull off the role and brought a whole new level of intensity to the character, easily setting apart his version from Tim Curry's. Also, his dancing. That's something I will never forget. I'm honestly still triggered. And finally, in at number one, Valak from The Conjuring. Valak, though one of the newest horror monsters on our list, has quickly become one the most feared since her initial appearance in The Conjuring 2. Valak is of course a demon who appears
is dressed as a nun, which in itself is terrifying considering nuns represent the pure, they represent gods. Whereas Valak is evil incarnate, her eyes are yellow surrounded by black, with a cracking face and striking features. Now the actress who portrays Valak, Bonnie Ahrens, has none of those features, however she does have incredibly striking features, which is why throughout her long career she has been able to play incredibly diverse roles, starring in both horror films and comedies. Ahrens has appeared in Mulholland Drive, The Princess Diaries, Drag Me to Hell and The Fighter. Her career has been incredibly successful, but it was the Conjuring franchise which brought her considerable fame, and honestly the makeup artists for those movies deserve the highest praise. Well there we have it, do you guys agree with our list, were there any horror movie monsters that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below. Before I go though, I just want to respond to a few comments from one of our last videos, top 10 celebrity theories you won't believe. Josh Harvey said, glad to see that you are feeling better Lucy, or was this recorded before? Either way, cool video, thanks Lucy, keep it up. No, thank you for watching. This was recorded before, I've been battling the flu for the last little while, but I'm on the mend now. Still sick, still stuffy, but I'll survive. Raina Morgan said there is the Kurt Cobain murder conspiracy. That is very true. Part 2 perhaps? Silver Plays said, is Lucy McPhee related to Nanny McPhee? I cannot confirm nor deny that accusation. Talk to my lawyers. Blake Dust Gaming said, first, love you guys. We love you. And on that note, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another Beyond the Screen vid. And until next time, see you later.